Uh, coach, you know, it wasn't all there early on in today's match. Um, you know, like I was talking to the girls just earlier um, after I dropped in that first set, what you were telling the team. Well, first of all, was my responsibility why that happened in the beginning, in the first set. Uh, we did something that usually we don't do. Uh, and then I think that uh, took away their confidence a little bit. And then was my first, my, the first set was my responsibility. And then after that, I just uh, returned to our game plan uh, and then try to neutralize the best hitters from the other team and then post our block against them. Um, the team was, you know, was clicking offensively later on in the match here. 62 kills, a season high. Um, you know, talk a little bit about how they were operating offensively, especially late in the match, and especially in that fifth set. Well, I I was talking with constantly with Ailan, but she made a lot of good decisions in the end, and then allowed the players to be with a single block, and that's. And uh, the, the players were confident enough to, to swing the ball as hard as they could. And that's bring us the point. You were uh, di uh, digging deep into your bench today. You know, uh, Sarah, Esgi, uh, Letty, and Astrid came off the bench and actually was very productive at times during the match. Um, you know, how confident were you of how, like, your depth, how, how, how does that operate? Yeah, so uh, for us, um, it's very important to be a very good group. Uh, then first we have a good practice, right? And then secondly, we, we can use them on the on the match. I have total confidence in every player that we we have here. And then was it specific by okay, they can do this well, so I'm gonna throw them there, you know, like and, and make them play. For example, that is faster than uh, Carolina, so it was a, a easy decision for me to make. And then same with Esgi, and she has an amazing serve, so I put her to serve line to line uh, instead of. I land and Astrid, uh, she has a good block, and I was worried about that a little bit, especially against the other outsides. So, and then we start. Uh, I, I I put her to 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 be there, and they they practice every day with each other and against each other. So I land have a good connection with um, Astrid as well, and Sarah, she's constantly there, and then I trust her. I trust in everyone, but I trust her to really execute the plan and be positive and bring energy for the team. And so it's not, um, it's not about one player, it's about the whole group. And then everyone can contribute and what they did today. Getting this win in front of a lot of alumni, um, what does that mean to you and the team as a whole? Well, uh, the alumni, they are uh, part of this school, right? <laughs> and they inspire us uh, every time that I, I walk uh, into the building and I look to that banner, I want to update that banner, right? So, and then they are part of this process. I hope they can come more often. I hope they can support us even more. You know, not just the alumni, but the students that are here. I hope that they can come, support the team, support the girls, you know, and then uh, make this a great environment to compete. We go, we go out and, and try and accomplish goals daily. And, and that's our focus. Our focus is never going to be in the whole season. It's always going to be what's going to be the next step, the next opponent, and the next game. And that's what we, we are trying to do here. It's the process. We are improving. Uh, sometimes we are anxious to improve more than we can. Uh, but the most important thing is not try to be perfect, it's just to improve. And that's what we are, I think the program, it's, it's getting better year by year. Uh, and ever, we can never forget that we are not too good when we win and not too bad when we lose. We just have to keep focusing the process.